Welcome to Excel Engineering Interactive Dashboards. This is Professor Manish Narayan, founder of Innovative Institution. Welcome to the course. This is the first video in the series. So what we're going to do together is utilize Excel to create interactive dashboards that can be utilized and uh, consumed by your fellow classmates, product teams, marketing, management, executives, and so on. So, you know, we don't want to pay uh, extra money to, you know, buy third party reporting tools, right, and libraries, but we can do everything within Excel. So I'm going to show you how. So the first step is to uh, make use of source data, right? So where's your data coming from, right? Now it can be SQL Server, it can be Oracle, it can be, you know, an Excel file, a CSV file. It can be randomly generated formulas or data as you see in front of you. So in this course, you'll see a resource. It's called Interactive Dashboard Source Data. It's an Excel file. OK, I'll have that attached. On the first worksheet, you'll see a sheet named Source Data. OK, it has uh, columns A through G. So just this is, again, random data, right? So we have transaction date. So maybe uh, some transaction took place. I have randomly generated dates here. Okay. Again, you can check the date format. If you go to the home screen or home tab, you'll see that this format here is date, which is good. The next column in column B, I have uh, about four states, California, Oregon, Arizona, and Nevada. So randomly generated states, all right, for location. And then uh, column C, I have revenue, all right? Again, this is all random. Next on column D, I have the purchase method. So maybe somebody bought shirts using a mobile app or pants using a website or even towels using some sort of physical store, okay? So I have a different purchase method and different products. So I have about four to five products here. And then maybe the customer got uh, shipped the product but it came in two different conditions. Uh, one is new and one is damaged. All right, so I have that randomly generated. And then finally on column G, we have the product rating, right? The customer, you know, they provide five star rating, four star and so on. Very satisfied, satisfied, mediocre and so on. So I have about thousand rows of data. Now, if you wanna try your own data, I have a recommended site that I, you know, rely on even for work, it's called mockaroo.com. All right, so it's very nice. It generates mock data. Um, for example, uh, you can have default field names here. So this will generate, you know, random ID here, row number, which is like one through a thousand. First name, last name, email, they'll be all randomly generated, gender, IP address. I can go ahead and add another field here. So let's call that uh, car make. Okay. So what's nice about Mockaroo, if you click on the type here, you get a lot of uh, categories here. You can have, you know, commerce, randomly generated credit card numbers, uh, stock names, right? Uh, if you go to crypto, you can have Bitcoin, randomly generated Bitcoin addresses, right? So in this case, I'm going to go to products, choose car make. And what's nice is you can preview your data. So if I click on preview, Notice it's very nice. I get, uh, you know, thousand rows of data. First names sound real, right? Uh, Helga, Borgisio, right? Again, everything's random. Notice the emails, which is very nice. Uh, Rab Jander, right? It takes the first initial and the last name and generates a random number plus some random domain. Okay. And these, some of them are real looking domains, right? So Twitter, NPS, Spotify, so on. You get genders here, IP address. And finally, we added a car make. Notice you get Chevrolet, Lexus, Dodge, Mitsubishi, and so on. Okay, very nice. Uh, you can actually use this data to set up your interactive dashboards. Okay, that's the goal of this course. Uh, if you want to download the data, you can specify what format you want, CSV, JSON, tab delimited, even SQL, generate a SQL schema. You can insert this data into your data store um, has Excel here, which is nice, right? Then you click on download data and you get that data. Now, I provided your source data for this course 
inside of a resource attached to this lecture. So go ahead when you start this, open up source data, this workbook, interactive dashboard source data, and we can get started. So before we create our dashboard, the first thing we want to do is rely on some of the videos and concepts from my Excel engineering part one course, right? Where we have a structured worksheet, structured uh, engineered workbooks, right? So what we want to do is select cell A1, hold the control shift key, hit the right arrow, all right? Notice that selects all the column headers. Then one more time, hold the control shift key and hit the down arrow. And now you've selected all thousand rows of data. Next, while that's selected, we're going to go to our name box here. You'll notice if I hover over on the top left of your screen, it'll say name box. I'm going to choose a name for my data. I'm going to call it source underscore data. Don't forget to hit the enter key. And now your data is named, right? So how do I verify that? You can go to the formulas tab on the top, go to the name manager, and you'll see a source data here. If I double click that, Notice the name is source underscore data. Again, you can change it if you want, if you like. Uh, it refers to a range here, source data worksheet, that's this one, and cells A1 through G1001, okay? So that's all we need to do for this lecture, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.